Hi, uh, my name is Abdi Jame. Uh, I'm a GB wheelchair basketball player, uh, European Championship gold medalist uh, 2011. I come from Somalia when I was six years old, uh, when, the, when, when the country went into civil war. So many people were evacuated and went somewhere peaceful. And thank God we came to Britain. Uh, follow my journey to London 2012 as we are going to win gold medal all the way. Come on, GB. How did it go today? Ah, great game. Towards the end, and we've got another big guy coming along, so we missed our main player. So, they've only won by seven. The big guy gives us 30 points, and only last night we found out, you know, he had a bit of a family problem, so we had to sort of adapt to him, play the game in a different way. And I think the young guys played really well. You know, as a team, we played, stuck together, played really well. You know, driving all the way here to London, and, we're playing a good game and you know we give us they give us so I think it's a fair game. They are home so Christmas comes after Christmas we'll get them. Yeah, I'm from a uh, Toxteth, uh, it's a well-known area, and you know the riots started back in the 80s, and I was in a lot of um, there's a lot of crime and stuff like that that used to happen back in the days. You know, I grew up in the area, and it's my it's my area, and I've, you know I, I moved back in after, after 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 about two three years of you know playing abroad, and, and you know I love the area. Yeah, it was a rough rough school, man. You have to survive through it. You know, it's a very, uh, very old school, man. I think it used to be a boarding school in 1880 or something like that. You know, it's not nice to break down something that's been here for years and years. If they tore this down, would you be quite sad? I would, yeah, because this is where, you know, my old school was, you know, and I used to just come across straight from the road where I used to live, you know, and it's, it's, just, it's one of the main, of the main, Building buildings in this area, so it's quite good to have this here and just leave it here for us. Ed, my mum, I'm in a jam, and she's an inspiration to me. You know, she's helped me through a lot of things, and you know, I can never repay her back, like I said. Mum, how yeah. are you? I'm fine. I am very, very happy that, that time he was when and now he's um, playing football, he's he going himself, and then no one helps. Him for that year. So basically, what she's saying is, basically, in a wheelchair. I, I did everything for myself. Yeah, he did everything himself. And in the sense of, you know, I had to come from here all the way to Green Bank and, you know, the local centre and train and everything was, it wasn't like, you know, I had financial support in that sense and it was very hard, you know, in that sense, in that, in that, in that look at it in that way. I, I, I'll tell you a story about my mum. She missed, um, for the, when we played the USA for the bronze medal game, 
she missed uh, my little sister from coming, you know, she's supposed to get from school. And uh, she forgot what time it was because she was watching the game. And she realized it was four o'clock and she was supposed to pick my little sister up at three o'clock. <laughs> Which was crazy. She was like, "Oh no!" I have all day shouting, shouting. Oh, oh my she god! She supported me that much. Well. She, uh, well, I forgot that my girl. Yeah, yeah, she forgot the little sister. <laughs> How are you? What's up? You okay? Hello, good. Hello. Good. Everything all right? Mashallah. I'm coming to London for the Olympics, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're just doing a bit, man. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. A lot of support in here. Of course, I need the whole local. Uh, yeah. I need the whole local area to support me, man. Get, get the support, you'll be in the front, you be in the front line of the support. Let me know because I put a bet on you, yeah, yeah. alright? Well, we got, we got a 20, 29th, uh, the whole Olympic starts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Olympic starts. Our first game is at 8 o'clock, we play uh, Germany our first game. Trying to form man, all the way. Go on then, I'll yeah. watch that. Good no problem, bro, right? This is the street that I used to walk down. Yeah, you know, I used to be here a lot in this street. It's like where you grew up here, up and down. There used to be a lot more stuff than this, there used to be a lot more shops open, there used to be a lot more, uh, like, you know, plays in arcade places and stuff like that in that sense. But like at the moment, you can see there's a lot of boarding places and, you know, I think it's going be, you know, another another five years, six years, you know, the whole place will be getting refurbished and getting fixed, so. How are you, man? Thank you, man. Legend. Thank gold. You, man. Yeah, yeah. Forget the bronze. Definitely, definitely. We're going for gold, man. <laughs> I don't even know who that guy is, man. But it's a uh, good to it's good. I don't even honestly. I don't even know who that guy is, but it's good to have. You know, someone like you don't even know, man. Just come up to me and it's like say my name's Charlie. You know, you do. You know, you go for gold for London, man. We want you to win gold, man. You know, it's just, it's incredible, man. I'm like. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. Man, you know, I, I, I really enjoy, you know, having the support from the, the area and, you know, my local, you know, everybody here, you know, knows me and it's just, sometimes it's, you know, it's people that I grew up with, you know, support me, you know, telling me, you know, you, you're doing this, you're doing that. Sometimes I don't even realize I'm doing, you know, so good. You know, I just, I just enjoy and, you know, I enjoy playing basketball and it's, you know, I put that vest on and, you know, I'm the proudest guy in the world, man, to be a, to be a British Somali, you know. Now, you've seen me in the club games. You've seen me at home in Liverpool where I live. Now, we're here in the Euro Cup, uh, competing against top four teams around Europe. I'm playing for Wolverhampton Rhinos at TK Sports Centre. Come and check me against these guys. Uh, you know, he's the world number one, one pointer. He can do it all, shoot the ball, he can defend hard, he can uh, run, help the offence, you know. Uh, any team in the world would pick him first. If they were going to choose a player to pick, and you know, one pointers are the, probably the most valuable players in your team so you can get the rest of the uh, uh, team together, they'd pick him first. He is a Kobe Bryant. If he was an able-bodied athlete, a multi-million pound dollar athlete, he would be. Dan, Joe and Abdi. So we're going to press his. He bounds the ball and press to you both there with him. Yep, so we're going to let them play four on three. We've got no problems with that. Yep, so that both of them are going to be taking care of it. So one of you will be on the baseline. <coughs> They're going to wait for him. And the other one will be something like that. Yeah, so that's why you're going to be on the baseline. You've got to communicate. I'm not worried. So you can take what you should take is the first receiver, but be in front of him. Do you understand what I mean? After you're taking both of the lows, so you have to go in between yes. both of them.
great game. Uh, we've won. Uh, we've just qualified for the European Cup Finals. And keep keep tuned to my episodes and keep watching.